Good morning guys, it is day one here and our final day, full day in Bangkok. Uh, basically, if you missed the previous vlogs, we've spent about a month in Cambodia and uh, it just made sense to come to Bangkok for a couple of days to show Ben the city and just to kind of hang out. This is pretty much my second home. I spent four months going to school here in downtown Bangkok. Whenever I can, I try to come back. So literally right across the street from where we're staying, Terminal 21. When I was a student here, I actually had a bike and I would go out of my way to bike to Terminal 21 just to get food. Two dollars, maybe two and a half dollars for an amazing meal, like chicken with broth, with rice. So, so good. The Thai food is amazing. I've been looking for the right one of you. Not really what I expected. I was sort of expecting a lot less, like a lot more poverty and things, but when you come here, it's like, so really much high end, yeah, a lot of wealth. Yeah, it's a really, really strange city because most people think before coming here that it's gonna be really poor, really dirty, really polluted, and it has some of that, but what they don't realize is it's actually a very developed city with a lot to offer, and uh, as you can see here, this mall is massive, it's beautiful, and this is like one of seven malls in the greater Bangkok area, and this is like the smallest of them. They get so, so big. Hey, free money. Right here, this is my jam. I hope they haven't changed the thing. All these meals together were five dollars US. Yeah. <laughs> That's how cheap it is here at Terminal 21, and the food is so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh. MBK. We just arrived here at MBK Mall. This is like the biggest mall in all of Bangkok. It's really good for knockoff goods, for getting elephant pants, and I need to pick up some elephant pants. I bought four shirts. These were like $10 a shirt. A little bit expensive, but they're really nice. And randomly, I just ran into an ex-classmate. Uh, we used to live in the exact same residency and we used to go out together. And uh, I just met him in Starbucks. I'm a simple man. When I see a shirt I like, I buy it. I just bought this beautiful cat shirt. Speaking of bought, thank you. See what I did there? Bought, bought. Other than that, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go do a little bit of exploring in Bangkok. I'm showing Ben right now Bangkok in its raw entirety. We are seeing everything from the malls to the traffic. We were caught at like this one intersection for probably about 15 minutes without really moving. I used to go over that little overpass to go to class just over there every day. Well, when I showed up. So right now we are taking you to a place that I've never been despite living in Bangkok. This is like one of the big things to do. Um, it's a little bit busy, a little bit touristy, very expensive uh, for what you're getting, but hello. Getting fancy. So this is the Labua Sky Bar. It was actually featured in The Hangover 2. A very expensive place to get some drinks and oversee the entire city, so let's go check it out. On the 64th floor, just about, this elevator is really quick. Things don't always go as planned. It seems to be a common theme these days. Uh, we went to the top, we got to the 64th floor, and then we get stopped because we're told, first of all, they don't open till 6 p.m. And second of all, they're not allowing this into their hotel. So uh, we're definitely underprepared. One of those times when getting lost and just winging it didn't really work out. But we always have a plan B. So right now, we're gonna show you where we're going next. It's better than Lavua anyways, so whatever. What are you selling? Ice cream. Ice cream. 10? 10. 10, I'll get a cone. Coffee, chocolate, taro. Coconut. 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 I'll do coconut. No. 200 for two people. 100, 100. No. Okay. Okay, 150 baht. No. 120, 120. This will be the highlight of your day. <laughs> so getting to Labua took us about an hour in traffic. Getting back. I'm starting the timer now. I'm guessing about 20 minutes. <laughs> so much faster. How 
was it? It's good. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like my favorite thing to do in Bangkok. Yeah, you just fly through all the cars. So we're just walking by, and this reminds me so much of like a Banksy painting. And it's basically, in a nutshell, looks like the issue that's going on with the elephants. It's the idea that humans are abusing these elephants for personal gain. So this is kind of a cool piece. I assume that's what it means. If you're not familiar, I actually did a vlog series where I went to Thailand and covered all about the elephants, the issues, uh, the good things, the bad things. So our hotel's further back that way, but I passed by the park and it's all orange right now because the sun's setting. So I want to get back there, fly the drone, show you guys Bangkok from the sunset. Here is Benjakati, Benjakiti, Benja something park. Go what? So the people who say Bangkok is just a polluted city, overcrowded, chaotic, I show you this. It has such a beautiful balance of everything, really. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that. This right here is a bike track going around the water. Like there's so much you can do in this city. I honestly don't know many cities that can compete with this. Like for diversity, for amount of activities, like the fact that you can get to the islands in one hour flight for $30, you can go see the elephants for $30 flight one hour away. Like literally everything is at your fingertips here in Bangkok. So we, we traveled Cambodia uh -huh. and then come to Bangkok for one day. For one day yeah. and then leave? Yeah. You leave alone or he? No, I leave. I go to Canada. Canada! Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I gotta go. <laughs> Are you allowed to fly outside? That's okay. <laughs> oh, so they're just park rangers. Okay. Thank you very much. No, thank you thank very you. much. Okay. okay, see you later. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet okay, bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> that was probably the best outcome you possibly could have gotten. Yeah. He just smiled. He's like, well, <laughs> bring it on back. <laughs> what is that? They're playing a bunch of music on that corner. Something's going on here. Oh, it's the national anthem. Everyone stopped. Yeah. That's so interesting. Everyone stopped for a good minute, and right as they finished the anthem, everyone did a little bow down. Wow. Wow. I don't know why, I've never seen that happen, and I lived in Bangkok for four months. So, I'm gonna be completely shameless and admit that I changed shirts, literally for an Instagram photo. And, you know what? I don't regret it. Like, I don't know how emergency vehicles get around in this city. Yeah. Like, they have to like push their way through. Housekeeping! Oh, Ronnie's getting ready. Wow. wow. Look at you, what are you doing? Ooh. What are you wearing? <laughs> you're a lady. <laughs> it's my couch, right? I bought it at MBK. Really? You like it? No. <laughs> oh, that's a fresh haircut. Yes. Something crazy just happened. I was checking my Instagram, and there was a little tiny blue check mark icon right next to my name. I just got verified on Instagram. Like, what? I don't know what it is. There's something about getting verified on Instagram that's way cooler than YouTube or on Facebook. And I'm verified on all three of them now, but Instagram for me was the, like the biggest, like, so I'm pretty stoked about that. If you didn't already know, I am doing giveaways on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Every week I'm selecting one winner of a free Lost t-shirt. All you have to do is comment, hashtag Team Get Lost, Every post you comment on increases your chances of being picked as the winner of the week. So, and at Los LeBlanc is my user handle on every social media. It is our final night here in Bangkok and we're gonna be celebrating what's been an incredible three and a half weeks traveling together. It's been so much fun traveling with these guys. Like, we all got along so incredibly well. And you know what, when you're sharing rooms, literally sharing beds, Tensions can run high and I have to say, we have gotten along like so, so well and it's been so much fun traveling with the dudes. Definitely go... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, check out Ben, check out Ronnie. Ronnie's gonna be putting together some awesome drone reels of what we've been up to the past 
month. Let's go out. Let's go explore Bangkok. Today I bought this. All right, lads. You ready for this? Yeah. Can I get a woo woo? woo, -woo. Well, you want a woo woo? It's that woo woo. You know what I'm saying? The city. Check that out. So I've never been down here before, but this is Soy Cowboy, and I avoid this area like the Black Plague for a reason. Um, like I said, this is kind of an experiment. We're walking down here. Um, I'll show you. That's more than I'll ever need to see. Very, very depressing in, in many senses. Um, yeah. Damn. Look at this thing. It's hollowed out. This thing is made for racing. What's my... Yeah, so I'm going to my favorite sky bar, but in all honesty, I've only been to one. Head up, all the way up. We gotta go up another one. That was so good. <laughs> she didn't ask for anyone's ID except for him. <laughs> She's like, how old are you, sir? <laughs> I said 17. You know, she wasn't. He's like, you're there. actually 19. Yeah. And uh, you're 17, right? You're 19. Look. <laughs> All right, check it out. I did not know it was like this. Welcome to Octave Sky Bar. This right here is Sukhumvit Road, and we are just towering over it. Not a bad spot, right on the edge, on the prison. There's just something so peaceful about being up here above all the chaos, like the breeze is beautiful, the temperature is perfect at night. We're going to our next destination, which has yet to be determined. Scratch that, um, they checked Ben's ID and apparently you have to be 20 to go into demo. Ben's 19. Alright guys, so we've just arrived here at RCA. Da, 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 da. If you're bringing your children, leave them at home when you go out in Bangkok. I'm just teasing you. Poor guy. Ben got rejected again. Apparently you need to be 20 to go to Route 66. This is hands down the wildest Bangkok tour I've ever done. Like we literally have showed Ben everything there is to see in Bangkok. That's not true. We, saw, we didn't show him Soy 11, but we've shown him just about all the busy night areas here in Bangkok. We're at Rambo Tree, uh, which is the food street, and it's right next to Kulsan Road, which is the drinking street. And this is Kosan Road. Wow, it's busy tonight. Damn, pretty lit. Hey, you get in, you, you get in. Come on, join us, join us, get in, get in. Get in. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Seen. And the fan of the day is... Fan of the day.